Hostile soldier spotted. Over. Hello and welcome to Rusenthal's Gunship Guide. In this video we are trying to give away the information you need to be a more effective player in the gunship. The gunship is also called AC-130 and is an important vehicle for any team that wants to win and control the map. On the game mode rush it spawns 60 seconds after the game has started for the attacking side and on conquest it spawns as soon some team caps the base that is required for the gunships to deploy. The bases are B on Armored Shield, E on Bandar Desert, and C on both Death Valley and Alvers Mountains. If the gunship is destroyed it takes 60 seconds for it to respawn on Conquest and on Rush it takes 120 seconds. You enter the gunship on your spawn screen and if the gunship already is taken by two players you can still spawn on it as a paradropper and be effective in other ways like ninja capping bases that is hard for your team to reach. As I told you, the gunship is available for two players, both will have access to each, anti-air, cannon and flares. The difference between the two seats is that one of them got a big cannon and the other one has a smaller cannon with rapid fire, much like the cannon for the gunner in a helicopter. In the first seat you will have access to the rapid cannon, you are able to zoom in and you will have a pretty fast fire rate. This weapon is really good versus infantry and works good versus the light armored vehicles as well, but when you are trying to engage the heavy armored vehicles like tanks, you will have a hard time damaging it. The second seat will give you the big cannon, and you will be able to zoom with it, and you also have thermal optics that will make it easier for you to see enemies on the ground. In most cases the cannon kills infantry in one shot, but they might survive with very low HP. If you get a direct hit on a vehicle it will get disabled if not destroyed, it depends on the vehicle of course. Really vulnerable vehicles like jeeps and quad bikes will explode on direct hit, helicopters and jets will explode as well. Other vehicles with more armor will only get disabled, in most cases you will miss by a few meters and cause less damage than a direct hit, which means that you won't disable a tank in every single shot. The gunship can be very fragile, but there are several methods to survive for a little bit longer. First off, it's important that you and your teammate in the gunship are cooperating, so you don't flare at the same time. If you are playing with a random player, try to wait for him to flare first, and then use your own flare for the next lock-on. You should also do everything you can to defend yourself versus air vehicles and anti-airs on the ground, and if you are playing with friends, tell them to help you. The gunship has a lot of HP, but it's pretty simple to bring the AC-130 down to the ground. If you want to take down a gunship with an air vehicle, you should strike from behind in and if possible, below like this so that the AA turrets on the gunship won't be able to hit you. And when I say if possible, I'm hinting at helicopter's limited attacking angle. If you do correct and fully effective attacks, you can get the gunship down in two runs. Helicopters are also very lethal, but you need to literally ambush the gunship to make significant damage or perhaps shoot a TV missile or two before engaging. And that's it for this time guys, I hope you liked the video, uh, leave some feedback in the comments below. I'm Todd, my friend is Rooster, see you next time.